Welcome, dear viewers. In this video, we'll explore the top 10 countries by GDP measured at Purchasing Power Parity, PPP, from 2014 to 2023. First, let's break down the basics. Gross Domestic Product, GDP, is the total value of all goods and services produced within a country in a year. Think of it as your total earnings. However, the value of money varies across countries. For instance, $1 in the US might buy the same goods that 80 units of another country's currency would purchase. To make fair comparisons, we use Purchasing Power Parity, PPP. Let's walk through a simple calculation. Imagine Ghana produces goods and services worth $1 million, while Belgium produces $800,000. Let's also assume that a basket of goods costs $400 in Belgium, but the same basket of goods costs $500 in Ghana. To find Belgium's GDP PPP in terms of Ghana's currency, step one, state the formula. GDP PPP of Belgium is equal to the nominal GDP of Belgium divided by the PPP exchange rate. Step two, determine the PPP exchange rate. The PPP of Belgium relative to Ghana is equal to $400 divided by $500, which is 0 0.8. Step 3. Calculate the GDP PPP of Belgium. This is equal to $800,000 divided by 0 0.8, which equals $1 million. This adjusted figure shows that, after accounting for cost differences, Belgium and Ghana have equivalent economic power. Now, let's take a closer look at how the top 10 economies have evolved over time. The United States topped the chart in 2014 and 2015, but starting in 2016, China surged ahead. China, beginning with a GDP PPP of approximately $17.4 trillion in 2014, sees tremendous growth, reaching about $34.6 trillion by 2023. The U.S., while maintaining a strong position, grows from $17.6 trillion in 2014 to $27.4 trillion by 2023. India, similarly, showcases significant progress, with its GDP PPP increasing from around $6.8 trillion in 2014 to approximately $14.5 trillion by 2023. Japan, despite being a consistent top contender, shifts from fourth to fifth as Russia advances in the rankings. Germany, Brazil, Indonesia, France, and the UK round out the top 10, highlighting their economic stability. The top 10 economies include four Asian countries, three European, one Eurasian, one North American, and one South American country. Interestingly, Australia doesn't make the list. But hold on. What about Africa? While African countries might not be lifting the heavy GDP weights just yet, they're definitely in the economic gym training hard. Before we wrap up, Let's see how well you've understood the concepts. Here are a few quiz questions. Question 1. What is the GDP PPP of Belgium if its nominal GDP is $900,000 and the PPP exchange rate relative to Ghana is 0 0.75? The answer is $1,200,000. It is obtained by dividing $900,000 by 0 0.75. Question 2. If a basket of goods costs $250 in country X and $300 in country Y, what is the PPP exchange rate of country Y relative to country X? The answer is 1.2, obtained by dividing $300 by $250, since it is relative to x, x is used as the denominator. 
If we were interested in PPP exchange rate of X relative to Y, then it would have been the reverse of what we initially calculated, which in this case will be $250 divided by $300, and this will be equal 0 0.83. Finally, question three, why is GDP PPP an important measure for comparing the economic power of different countries? The answer is B. It adjusts for cost of living differences, allowing a more accurate comparison of economic productivity and living standards. As we wrap up, do you think that in Africa, Nigeria and South Africa are the largest economies using the GDP PPPP measure? You might be surprised. Stay tuned for the top 10 economies in Africa. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Goodbye.